How do you have? I, I got. How can he not say something to Phil Ivy? A middle pin is what he's caught. One Jack. That's all he could win that pot with. And Tony G had one in his hand. It's the full tilt poker like net million dollar cash game in association with 50 in London. Flat call from Phil in first position. Five seven off suit. Raised it up by Patrick Antonius. These are the first two players into the pot. There's already a flat call and a raise. Not showing much respect for the six quality players still to act behind them. Roland De Wolf calling. Now Patrick Antonius has started this hand with only eighty-two thousand dollars, a far cry from what he had just a little while ago. Chris is reaching for his chips as well. He's called. Pair of nines for Chris. I'm not surprised he's in this pot. Three players going to see the flop. A nine on the board would be interesting. How about a ten? Well, that's nice for Patrick. Only one over card to the nines of Chris. Nice for Antonius. Not that interesting for us, though, right? Well, Patrick's decided to check it, and Roland Wolf's going to uh, have a stab at it with the worst of the three hands. 8,000. This could be perfect for Patrick. It's likely to get a call from Chris, and he's sitting there with the best hand. The problem is, if he gets a call from Chris Ferguson, does he know his Jack 10 is good? Well, I'm pretty sure he won't release it. I think this is a really tough spot for Patrick Antonius. You got a bet from the Wolf. You got a call from one of the tightest players at the table. The pot is now thirty-one thousand dollars, but it's only going to cost you eight. So you call one time and then you see the turn. You've got position on Chris. He's probably the man you're more worried about right now. <laughs> about fifty. About 50,000 more for Roland. Patrick might be about to find out how, how he is in this pot. With a little re-raise. Maybe 45. The interesting thing is, if Patrick does re-raise here, he doesn't have that much money. I'm not sure if he can get away from it. I don't know about that. He's got 82,000, Patrick. He just decides to call. It's cold. Aces and nines, the only cards that are going to change this. Turn to seven of clubs. That changes nothing. Chris Ferguson can't like his hand. Not now that Patrick Antonius is called. And Roland De Wolf definitely doesn't like his hand. Pot is $39,500. Chris Ferguson. Check. The pregnant pause and a check. Action with Patrick. Winning right now. As you can see, 91% favourite to win this pot. Just one nine in the deck to save Chris Ferguson. 26,000. And he bets $26,000. And I imagine that'll probably take it down. Obviously, Roland De Wolf quickly folds his ace nine, and I would be shocked if Chris Ferguson called this. The only hand he can really beat is spades. Nine has been a real tricky hand for Chris Ferguson in this cash game. He makes the right decision this time. Pass lay down. And nicely played by Patrick. You don't think about surviving, so every party you just play as well as you can. It's all about your cash. You only you think about the odds. If you need to call, make the call you're gonna call. Some of the tournament uh, situations you might you can't you can't make a call even if you you would have the odds because you might lose all your chips and it's too valuable to do that and. Uh, 
So casting is just, um, it's all about playing, uh, playing hands correctly and uh, making uh, the right decisions. It's, uh, it's all about your money and you can always rebuy. And the button is in front of the big winner so far, it's Tony G. It didn't look like he had any competition earlier. And then Patrick Antonius jumped ahead of him. And now Phil Ivey is threatening him. And there he is. Round to Roland. Roland having a lot of trouble. He is now under $50,000. Flat calling with his 8-6, trying to make something happen. 600 to play. Call. 600 to call. From Howard Lederer. Nothing for Alan there. 600 called. The mouth from down under is in the pot too. That's Tony G. Jesus in as well. With 8 deuce. Did he actually complete out of a small blind with eight deuce off suit? Yes, he did. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. Five players. And five deuce for Phil Ivy. Seven, five. Pick up you. A little bit of an action flop there.